Hello and welcome to a new video. So if you see the title you would know this is my London haul and if you watched my video from last week you would have seen the vlog from when I was in London. So today I'm going to show you the things I have bought. I've got the bags here, things are piled in each other. This is very heavy. So I'm actually going to start with a few makeup bits that we got. So for a few months before we went to London I saved up some money especially for buying myself some things so that I didn't have to constantly be watching the bank. Um, I had this money set aside for buying whatever I wanted to buy when I saw it. So like I said makeup first. Okay so I'm actually going to start with what I got from the body shop first. This is just something that I'd wanted for a while and I, I follow the body shop on Instagram and they're always putting about their new masks. So I went and got one. This is the Himalayan Charcoal Purifying Glow Mask. So it unclogs, refines pores and reveals a glow. So this was, I'm not sure how much, I believe it's actually sort of like £16 or something. So I've just got the mask. Yeah, it's really heavy, but also to go with it, which is also quite often on their Instagram, is this. This is the facial mask brush. So I'm constantly worrying about, and this just makes it so much easier for applying your mask. You literally just dip. So this brush I've got out of the packaging now is £8, and this is just so much better because all you do is just put it, Dipping it in your mask onto your face and that is it. You're not having to get your fingers on faces and all that stuff. It's really soft, this brush. So, yeah, that's what I got to go with it. And these things I'd wanted for a while as well. So next, I went into Debenhams. This is something I'd wanted for a really long time. And I've heard absolutely loads about it. And it is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So I just got it in the shade black. I mean, you can't really see much, but there you go. I have been using my Soap and Glory one for years. And when I watch dupe videos, a lot of people dupe the Soap and Glory one for this. So I really wanted to give this one a go. Um, I've not even opened it up yet. Oh, wow, look at that tip. I've not tried it or anything yet, so I'm really excited to do so. Oh, I think I'm going to have to film a makeup tutorial on some of my new stuff. So, I've got some cuts. And my other thing was from Boots. So I went into Boots, once again, knowing exactly what I wanted. And watching a few YouTube videos, I realised the one thing I am missing out of my makeup collection is a good primer. So I did my shopping around and it was between the, the Becca... Uh, primer it's the purple one the color correcting one I can't remember what else it's called or the studio no the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer this is what it looks like Lily Pebbles talked about both of the primers I've just mentioned in a recent ish video and this one is cheaper, it's £26, but it was cheaper than the Becca one, that's why I went with this one. But it's a silicone base, I believe, and that is my favourite kind. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this a whirl. Okay, so next I will do New Look. Now I have got the New Look website and I have been on it lately because they've seriously upped their game with fashion. So there's a couple of things I got. One of the things is something that I've wanted for a while and it's been in my saved box for a while. But they still have really expensive delivery. I wish New Look would seriously do something about it. I mean they do maybe once a month have free delivery for like 24 hours. But if that's at the end of the month when you're just getting paid or I don't know. It's like 3 99 for delivery which is quite expensive. It adds quite a bit on to your delivery. So... I tried to wait for free delivery or when I went to Westfield and they had a bigger new look. This is the time I thought to buy. So, 
it is this gorgeous colour. I absolutely love this colour. It's this gorgeous blue shirt blouse with the buttons. You might have seen this everywhere because they do it in every single colour. And I actually already have it in black. Yeah, that is the exact same shirt as that. <laughs> but it was between this one. It was originally, I went in thinking I was going to buy the yellow mustard one. But when it like, compared with my hair, it just kind of washed me out because it was just too similar. So I went with this gorgeous blue colour and I absolutely love this. It is slightly cropped, but it's got lovely sleeves with the rolled up edges and the buttons on it as well. They're just super cute and it's v-neck as well so it really enhances the, the breasticles. So I really like that. That was $15.99. Now the next thing is actually this handbag. I absolutely love it on camera. Kind of looks better than it does in real life though. <laughs> it is this great leather handbag, obviously faux, and there's faux suede on the detailing as well and on the bottom it's faux suede with this golden buckle so I'll open it. And I've been looking for one for a while. It's I am really picky when it comes to handbags. For the size, for one, I have a really ridiculously big one or I have a really ridiculously small one which just isn't ideal for things like when I wanted to go to London and I had no ideal bag. So unfortunately I found some the very last day but the other thing I struggle with as well is the straps. Straps on handbags are really short. Even though this one is adjustable, that is adjusted the whole way like the, to the longest it can be and it is just the right size around because I do have it around the body because it's just so much easier than having to think about carrying it. So this is originally $15.99 as well but I had a 30% off tag which brought it down to like uh, £11.80 or something I believe it was so I'm really high excited and happy to be able to try this bag out and grey as well. I never go for grey, like my all of my handbags are really basic boring colours. I mean I know grey is not very exciting, but for a bag it is. So yes, hopefully it'll go with a lot of things. So that was it from New Look. Now the last place is what I'm really excited for and is also to do with next week's video. It is Muji. Oh and I'm so excited for this. So I, I knew I wanted to go to Muji for a while and this is the main reason I saved up because all of this, what's in here, cost me £40 and like, I don't know, something in pence. So I wanted to change up my makeup station because at the moment it is just overrun and a lot of it I'm not using so I was wanting to do a declutter and reorganisation. So for that, at my Ikea um, desk, I've got a drawer full of makeup stuff and I wanted to be able to sort my makeup out better than what it is now because at the moment all I'm using is an IKEA organiser. Watch my next week's video and you'll know what I'm on about. So, so what I got to go in the drawers are these containers. So they are just the plastic containers with the middle divided and this one doesn't go for this one. I got lots of different sizes so this is like the medium size. And then I've got a big one. I've got another two medium sizes. This is like with a divider in the between. Um, so I've got three mediums, one big one, and two smaller ones. So they all do just fit nicely next to each other. And actually they're stackable as well. Just if you want to know. Now I've heard that Muji pens are one of like the best pens to use for bullet journaling. So... I picked up a plain black pen and this, they have like the different sizes for the nibs of the pens. So this is the smallest one you can get, this is 0 0.38 and this, I tested it out and oh my goodness, it is so good for my calligraphy. Um, it just makes my handwriting look so much nicer and especially for in a bullet journal where you've got smaller pages and you just need them to fit more on. So. So the next thing is what is on top of my makeup drawers and that is some acrylic drawers but there are five but I keep all of my everyday makeup 
in one at the bottom and the others I just kind of aren't using. So instead of having them stacked up, I thought I would change it into a stack of two. Obviously some more acrylic draw. These ones though have got the depth is a lot bigger. So I can actually fit my foundations in this one because those ones the depth is much smaller and I can't fit my foundation actually in it. So it's sitting on top and it just looks messy. So this is to organise it and all the rest of the makeup that's in the other drawers are going to go in these in my drawer. So <laughs> confused? Watch next week's video. Yeah, so that's how I got this. These are just the two drawers. Um, I don't think it's a lifty off lid one. No, I absolutely love Muji, but again, Muji for delivery, I think somewhere around the £4 mark again. So, yeah. I'm really excited. I've been waiting. I got back from London yesterday and I've been waiting all day to be able to film this video before I could um, get on and to move my makeup stuff around. So, that's it. So that is it. Thank you for watching my London haul with me. I hope you watched my London vlog and enjoyed that. And my next week's video is my makeup organisation and declutter. Thank you for watching again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.